everybody. It's me again. Just like bad breath. <laughs> uh, been way we I took a week off and did, did our uh, vacation Bible school stuff. And that went really well. And uh, But I did get to watch a few videos while we were gone. And uh, here's a few of them that I thought. I was going to call this the update special because I most of the videos are update videos, but I did throw in a couple that aren't update, so I'm going to take that back. <laughs> but uh give you a fair warning that most of these are, are layout update, uh, and uh, some of them are kind of a surprise. You'll, you'll see what I mean. But uh, I want to thank you all for being patient with me. While I was off, uh, uh, I did happen to do my porthole video, which is two parts. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, go to check out, uh, it was last week, uh, the two videos and check them out and see what you think of my first how I do video. Uh, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm happy. Uh, the, the portholes, that is. <laughs> that's that's what I made with some portholes. But uh, we'll talk a little more about that later on. Um, uh, before I get started, I do want to say that um, consider uh, going to Strasburg this year for the uh, meet and greet. The YouTube meet and greet is May 16th and 17th. I think right is those dates. And uh, I'm planning on going. Me and Buck, we're going to make our trip again. And my grandson, Braden, I think is going to go too. Not positive on Braden, but it's a very good chance. All right. And, uh, uh, man, some of the people that are saying they're coming already. It's really going to be fun. So keep that in mind. You got to get your reservations in if you're going to go and stay the night. Uh, they say that it's too hard to see in just one day. We're going to find out because I ain't going. I'm going to be there more in one day, but we're going to find out how much there is there. <laughs> sure, it looks like it's going to be fun just from the videos that I've seen for, for it. So, also, uh, don't forget uh, on Track Tuesday. Uh, this week it's going to be uh, Dave Thurber from Crooked River and Eastern. Uh, go over and check out his channel uh, on Track Tuesday. As far as I know, Dave's going to be on at 7, depending on how his schedule was. He hasn't said to me how it was going to go. It's either going to be 7 or 8, depending on what his schedule is. So, Alrighty, and... Uh, so let's get started, and we'll start off with uh, New Haven Rails. The New Haven Railroad Layout Update 2019-8. Well, I guess that's August. Hidden staging plus announcements. Well, it's really nice to see his layout uh, coming back to life, and I and I mean. It's it's really nice. I uh, I when he said he was moving and he was had to tear down his layout, I was like, no, because I always thought his his layout was magnificent. But uh, yeah, he, he's shown a, a, his ideas for a staging yard that he's putting in right now, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's good 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 start to getting back at it. And uh, I want to congratulate him on his 800 subs. He said he has he hit over 800 subs, and uh, and he says he's going to launch a new series, which uh, is going to be cool. I think it's going to be uh, uh, the workbench or something. He's going to call it, but that's cool. I'm, I can't wait to see that because I've seen some of his teaching videos, and wow, yeah, and. Uh, I think also he announced that he's going to go to Strasburg. 
Not bad. So I'll be looking forward to meeting you. Very looking forward to it. All right, and that's New Haven Rails. Um, check them out. The next one is Kevin Brown. Uh, expansion plans for my Brownsville Terminal Railroad. Kevin is showing his plans here to expand his layouts around the room instead of his just his one little module that he's got. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like it's that little, but it's end scale. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin, I couldn't resist. But he's going to extend it all the way around the room, which is going to be pretty cool. And he's he's incorporating the module. That, that's why he did his, his uh, layout in modules so that he could incorporate it right into his future expansion that he'd already planned. And he's also talking about putting a staging yard in another room that he said is pretty much useless right now. And uh, he showed how he's going to do that, which I'm looking forward to it, Kevin. Again, not bad. The next one is Jeff Rogers. 8x8 HO layout update. Mainline. I'll tell you what, Jeff's on his way with some big plans, and he's bring he's being uh, he's bringing back lots of memories for me. Uh, his his layout is actually about the same size as mine. Mine's a little bigger on the one end, but it ain't enough to to, to be significant. And and I'm watching what he's doing, and I'm I. Uh, I hope that he don't have to go through a lot of the things that I did that were mistakes, but he's, he, he looks like he's coming along there pretty good, and he's got it pretty good. My advice is just take your time, Jeff. Think it out really good. And uh, and also, all, all we, also, just remember, Jeff, always have fun. If it ain't fun, why do it? <laughs> I mean, this is a hobby. <laughs> If it isn't fun, don't do it. So, I'm glad you're making videos and, and showing us it. Jeff has only 19 subscribers, people. I think we can help him out. And everybody that I mention on here. Subscribe to him. Um, comment. Uh, man, I, I know myself as a YouTuber. I love it when people comment, man. Because it gives me an idea what they're thinking when they see my videos. Um, uh, yeah, comment, you know, if you see something that maybe could help them out, keep them from making a mistake, tell them about it, don't, you know, in a nice way, but, uh, you know, and, uh, any, I know myself, I, I, any suggestions that I could ever get, I usually take them into big considerations, some I use, some I don't, but, uh, I usually find out if I don't try some of them. I regret it later on because I end up usually doing it anyhow. So I, re I relate with a lot of you and your problems. So I re definitely relate with Jeff. So good luck, Jeff. Looks like you've got a great layout looking going together there. And I'll be looking forward to see further updates from you, buddy. Keep up the good work. Not bad. <laughs> All right, the next one is Jim's Train Tips. The mountain and the hills begin. And I want to give uh, Jim some real credit, okay? First off, he, he has a, a shed that he has his layout in. And, buddy, he's got that shed filled to the brim with train. <laughs> and he's building this mountain. And, uh, wow, what a mountain this is going to be. I, I'm going to tell you what. He really is, you got to see the video to see what I mean. He, he's, this mountain, I'll be able to climb it when he's done. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Uh, it'll definitely be. A strong structure. I'll give it that. Not bad, Jim. 
I liked the video. I enjoyed it. Keep up the good work, my friend. Jim's Train, train Tips. Jim has only 76 subscribers. Check him out. The next one is Gary Corbin. And if you got, uh, before I even start into the video part of it, Gary, if you haven't seen his videos of his layout, you're only cheating yourself. Because <laughs> Gary's doing one terrific job and his layouts come together really beautifully. Um, in this video, he talks about uh, scenery, ballast, ground cover, and trees. Um, this is from the 24th of August. Gary does a great job explaining materials he uses in his scenery. The ballast looks really great. I, I didn't... I, it, it it just looks great. <laughs> and uh, I hope mine turns out as nice as yours, Gary. I really do. And uh, I like the way... Um, oh, I like the way you did the back wall. And, and I had to re recipher my writing. Sorry, folks. Uh, some, <laughs> I look out, what did I write there? Uh, but... I, I got it. Um, I like the way you speeded it up, the the the, the video, and did the music and, and showed you putting the scenery in. I, wow. That was really great. It was a lot of fun. It was a very fun video. And uh, really not bad, Gary. Keep up the good works. Gary Corbin. Um you got 117 subscribers. <clears throat> the next one is our good friend uh, across the pond, Barnabas Junction. DC problem with Pico points at the frogs solved. And I want to thank Jason because I have uh, a f most of my turnouts are, are Atlas. But I do have some Picos. And the problem that he was describing, I, I, I've had that problem. And I didn't work it out the way he said. And I have a feeling it's going to come back and haunt me. So I am going to go and take his advice on it. Because I've already tried it with one. And it really worked out good. Um, you, he, Jason does a very good job of explaining it simply. That even I can understand. And I'm telling you, I'm thick-headed. I'm So, thank you, Jason. Great video. Um, Barnabas Junction. Barnabas Junction. Check him out. The next one is Eminem Rails 100th Video Special. Uh, some of my favorite moments. And... First off, I want to say congratulations, Mark, to 100 videos. Uh, I just did the 50s, and I'll tell you, uh, uh, when you I, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when I hit 100. I was just overjoyed with 50. Um, I enjoy watching a lot of the stuff that you always put on there, Mark, and I really do. Um, you always make it fun. You always... Make sure that you get a smile out of it, and plus, still informative, and uh, we get a good look at your layout. We're all kind of rooting with you. <laughs> really, really, really not bad. And I'm glad you included Gucci, because that's some of my favorite moments is with Gucci. So, thank you, brother. M&M Rails. And my last one is Split Rock 323. Split Rock Mining Company. Rail Fan. Split Rock Mining Company Rail Fan. Nine, uh, August 2019. And this is 
basically a small run session on his magnificent layout. I, man, he, this guy nailed it. I, and he had, he painted his uh, engine and caboose in his own colors, uh, for the split rock uh, mining company. And it's, it's just, it's just a superb video. I, uh, superb layout. <laughs> nice trains. I mean, what else can you ask for him in a video, huh? Thanks for sharing. And, uh, wow. Oh, I want to, I put myself a note here. I like the nut at the end of the cable switch pull. <laughs> Wow, I never thought of that, but that's pretty cool. Not bad. You have to see the video to see what I mean. All right, and that takes us to the real fan video of the week. And uh, my real fan video of the week is going to be... Dun, 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 dun. BNSF guy 617 chasing the IAISBICB 62919. And I want to say what they did is they went chasing this train. And at first, when they I've seen it, I said, well, I wonder why they're chasing this train. My goodness, I found out. Man. What a long train of mixed freight. At first, I thought it was going to be all nothing but hoppers. And then all of a sudden, here comes some intermodal. And then some tanks. Man, they had tankers on this thing. I, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, just a huge train. And it was pretty cool. So that is our video of the week. BNSF Guy 617. And uh, the links will be in the comments, or not the comments, the description, sorry. Man, you can tell I ain't been at this for a while. The links will be in the description as for all the videos that I mentioned. So, and my runners up were Wesley's Trains, again, uh, Great view of the CSX train from the Mon River in Pittsburgh, which this is really cool. They were riding a boat, probably, I, I, I don't know, maybe one of the Gateway Clippers, I don't know, but they were riding a boat down the river, and they filmed train as they were going down the river, That which is really cool, really cool. Great video. Uh, and, matter of fact, I almost thought about making him the real puppet. I should have, but, but anyhow. And the other one, is from our good friend Sparky107107, trains in the UK. And I agree with you, Sparky, that horn is pretty cool. So, and you have to watch the video to know what I'm talking about. Maybe you already know what I'm talking about, but I like the like the trains. And the trains from the UK, while he was over there visiting, was is it's a pretty cool video. All three of these videos are winners. So, check them out. The Rail Fan Videos of the Week. We have uh, BNSF Guy 617 is the Rail Fan of the Week, Real Fan Video. And runners up are Wesley's Trains and Sparky 107107. Not bad. Now I come to the question of the week. The question of the week is Lancaster, it was from, blah, 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 is from Lancaster. 622 and he asked me to ask what part of the scenery do you dread the most when you're doing scenery now I don't want to hear about wiring or 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 laying track uh, or doing bench work we're talking just strictly scenery what part do you dread the most and uh, we'll put it in there and uh, See what you come up with. Well, let's go to the layout. All right, folks. 
I'm back here at the uh, the layout, as you can see. It's a little different angle. Don't usually show it from this angle. But the reason I'm at this angle is because I wanted to show you. Now this is this is just a rough idea here. This thing might not be permanent, but I wanted to show you. There's the one I made in the video. Turned out pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little close-up shot. You can see. No, I did nothing more to it. That's the way it dried. And you can see how it came darker air above the top. Which, that's pretty cool. Now, this one was the first one that I made. Period. And it's out of the white foam. And you can see how much lighter it is. And, uh. I'm planning on darkening that up a little bit more because I just don't like it that bright. But I'm really tickled with the way that turned out. All right, and there's the portholes. And then there's there's a cheapo manufactured one, real cheapo. But I just kind of use it for guessing that somehow or another how the mountain's going to come together and. That what you're seeing where there, there's a train that's going to be under the mountain. And the mountain's going to start about right in there somewhere. So, haven't got that doll, that little details worked out yet, but it's coming. Uh, it's coming in future ones here. Now, let me get out from behind here and we'll be right back. Alright. Let's get this show on the road here. Alright, we got the main line started up here. Get a picture of it coming through the tunnel. Yep, it'll be coming right out here on this line right here. You'll see it. And here it comes. And there it is. I keep forgetting this engine don't have sound. <laughs> it's going to hit the horn. I was over here pushing the button. <laughs> it will have. I'm going to learn how to do that next. That's one of the things I got on my to-do list. Let's get the other one going here. And here comes the short line through. And he'll be coming through the center porthole. There we go. Turn the light on. That one has sound. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. Well, folks, I want to say thank you for checking out my channel and uh, watching my porthole video. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, go watch it. <laughs> oh, here it comes around again. We're coming around. And 
Do 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 do. I'm stuck here in Folsom Prison till the day I die. Oh yeah. I guess I ain't supposed to have that bell ringing like that, but it's my railroad. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for watching. Please like and sub subscribe. Uh, not only my channel, but all the guys that I mentioned. Those are the guys that are, that I want you to really check out and 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 do it for them. Um, because you know, without them, I, I wouldn't even have thought about doing not bad. So, here comes the train again. Yeah, through the portal. Can't wait till there's mountain there to go along with it. <laughs> Instead of that mongly hunks of styrofoam over there. <laughs> but anyhow. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week. Don't forget On Track Tuesday, tomorrow night. I think 7 o'clock. Might be 8 o'clock. If it ain't on at 7, we'll probably come on at 8. <laughs> that's the best I can tell you. Well, that sounds organized, don't it? <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I'll see you next week with another Not Bad and may the Lord's will bless you always you and your family and have a great week I know I will <laughs> God bless you all see you next week bye